Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to the fifth part of our seven chakras in seven days. Being day five, we're moving up the body and today we're gonna to use our blue chakra, we're gonna get that nice and balanced. It's our throat chakra. It's to do with communication. Now, of course, what we've been doing each day is we've been testing each of our chakras. So what I like to teach is that chakras, you know, when we get that basic chakra kit of seven crystals, that doesn't really work on finding the divine perfect balance in our chakras. So what we want to do is we want to find different crystals and different oils to balance it depending on where it is. So a chakra isn't really open or closed. What tends to happen is it tends to ebb and flow. Low energy, high energy, or a nice balance energy. Now how do we check that? We're going to check it with a pendulum. So if you've just tuned in and you don't have your pendulum, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to go and grab that while I talk about the throat chakra. So while you're grabbing your pendulum, the throat chakra is basically our center of communication, our ability to express our thoughts and our feelings. Now that is not just in our ability to talk effectively, but all ways of communication as well. And our hearing also comes into that as well. So how are we gonna work out how our, base, sorry, how our throat chakra is going? We're gonna grab our pendulum. We're gonna hold that in our right hand or the hand that we write with, so your projective hand. So most of us that will be our right, but the lefties, you do it in your left. You're gonna hold your pendulum, either pinch it like that from the top, or you can drape it over two fingers like this. Now first, imagine that we've got a scale of one to 100, where one is a very underactive chakra, and 100 is a very overactive chakra, and we want a 50. So what we're gonna ask our pendulum, first of all, is what does that 50 look like? So we're gonna say, show me the energy of a balanced chakra. Show me the energy of a balanced chakra. Show me the energy of a balanced chakra. And you don't have to say it out loud, what you can start to do is you can just kind of vibe. So there's a good looking person at the other end of the room and you want them to come talk to you. So you're like, show me the energy. After a while, we start to get a swing. And the reason we do this each time is we're feeling different, our energy's different, the reaction with the pendulum will be different. So it's good. So you can see mine swinging at a moderate amount at the moment. And so that is my 50. So that's what my balanced chakras are gonna look like. So now we're gonna get our pendulum nice and still again, put our hand gently on our throat, where our throat chakra is. And again, say, show me the energy of my throat chakra. Show me the energy of my throat chakra. Just relax. See if you can compare the swing between the first and the second. Mine's swinging at about the same rate, maybe slightly over, so it might be slightly overactive today. So depending on where your throat chakra is at, we'll use different crystals and different oils to bring that back into balance. So let's talk a little bit about that. If you had an overactive throat chakra, hit a thumb up and let me know, because first we're gonna talk about you. How do you know when someone's got an overactive throat chakra? They talk loudly, they talk a lot, they talk over people, they tend to, they can swear a lot, um, not very good listeners, those are all signs that they've got an overactive throat chakra. So what we wanna do is we wanna soothe that down. So first of all, we're gonna reach for some different crystals that could be really helpful. We've been talking about calcite all this week, and you do get blue calcite. This is probably the last time we'll see calcite this, this whole episode, because we don't really get dark blue or pink, or oh, well, purple ones too often. So this, Feels nicely and waxy or soapy. And soap helps to wash away extra energy. So blue calcite is a really good one when it comes to an overactive throat chakra when you take energy away. I also introduced you on Wednesday when we started looking at the yellow crystals, we looked at the fluorite which grows in, um, in squares. And this is actually blue fluorite. You can kind of see the lines in it. Remember fluorite grows in squares. That's why it helps to get that kind of structure on order. And this is a really nice one for um, getting order and structure back into an overzealous throat chakra in that type of way. Another one I really love, it's a soft blue color, as you will notice many of them. Beautiful angelite, found mainly in South America, this real soft one. And this so much talks as real to us about the importance of listing. It can be really beneficial for those that work in customer service or need to be really good listeners in that type of way. Can it help you to be an angel of customer service? But as we start to listen more, not just to what people are saying, but what's happening around us, it allows us to hear the hints, to hear the um, subtle clues, and hear the whisperings of the angels. So that's why it's called Angelite. It improves our listening and stops us talking so much and listening a bit more. I always say you don't learn a thing when you're talking, only when you're listening. Now the final one that I really like to use for an overactive uh, throat chakra, beautiful blue lace agate. As you can see here, 
It actually grows with these beautiful lacy kind of blue lines. I think it looks like a bit of a frozen lake if you're flying over it in a plane or something like that. Again, soft, you can see in many of these ones, soft and gentle kind of colours. Really helps to soothe that overzealous throat chakra and calm it down. Now there's a beautiful essential oil that works really well with that, especially with your uh, blue lace agate, and that is chamomile. Roman chamomile is the one I use, and I find this really nice and relaxing. You can also drink chamomile tea, and sitting outside after a big day, and actually holding your blue lace agate with some, a cup of chamomile tea, and just stopping and thinking and reflecting and shutting up for a minute can be a really good thing. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how can we do a crystal layout on our body using different crystals all working together to bring balance back to that throat chakra. You can do this for yourself as, as you lay down or you can do it for someone else if you're a healer or just a friend and having a bit of an experiment and a bit of an explore. So what you might want to do first of all is get some Roman chamomile and anoint that over the throat chakra and that's going to be the base and then on top of that we're going to put our crystals. So we're either going to put a blue calcite or a blue fluorite right in the centre there. Then what we're going to do is they aren't blue, but they're very, very effective. Black tourmalines. We've been using these each day. Black tourmalines have to remove extra energy. So if this is on the throat, and you're gonna do your best at balancing on the throat, there and there, there and there. Now this is gonna be a bit of a balancing act. So if you need to, imagine I'm laying down with a mattress or a bed behind me. You may be able to get there and there, and they may sit okay, and then pop them there and there. If worst case scenario, if you can't get the top one above the crystal, pop it on the forehead. Ooh. I should remember that I'm not laying down, that's why I fell. But yeah, wherever they are, as close to the crystal would be ideal, but you've got to, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. I have heard of some people sticking them to the people with like medical tape. I don't know if that's going to feel comfortable or not. It would be effective crystal wise, totally up to you in that manner. On top of that, so we've got our blue calcite or our blue fluorite here. So our throat is where we feel choked up when we can't speak. That's exactly where the throat chakra is. It resonates with this kind of colour blue. Black tourmalines there. We're then going to get two bits of angelite, and where are we going to put them? Right by the ears to enhance that listening. It's going to be really, really good. And then in the hands to finish that up, a piece of blue lace agate in each hand. Blue calcite or fluorite, four black tourmalines, two angelites, two blue calcites. And if you don't have all of them, just improvise, use similar crystals, or just leave them out and build your collection as you get stronger with that. So then we have an underactive throat chakra. If you had an underactive throat chakra, let us know, maybe give us a thumbs up. An underactive throat chakra, one of the biggest signs that you have an underactive throat chakra is that you don't have a lot of confidence talking, you're rather shy, you're hard to understand, you speak quietly or softly. That's the most common one. You know, I remember when I think of my grandparents, my, um, my grandmother was definitely the matriarch of the family and when you'd come around to the house, you'd say hello to my pop, and then that was probably the last word you heard of him because he, probably my grandmother had an overactive throat chakra so her partner, my pop, would counteract that with having an underactive one and he just disappeared to his shed and never talk again. So sometimes in relationships, if one partner dominates, one will get quieter and quieter as time goes on. So what we want to do there, that's one way it can be. Um, but remember that our throat chakra isn't just about our ability to speak, it's also about our ability to communicate. You may find that people misinterpret emails or text messages or something like that Maybe you make jokes and people get offended when you don't mean to offend them. Um, sometimes I have found that people with an underactive throat chakra will lie. Now the reason they're lying is not because they're liars, but it's basically because they just don't have the confidence to tell you that your bum does look big in those pants. The other times I've found some people show that they've got an underactive throat chakra, but they talk a lot and that doesn't quite make sense. But when you listen to what they're actually saying, they dribble a whole bunch of rubbish and they're not saying anything. They don't feel confident expressing how they truly feel or think, and so they cover up that awkwardness with noise. So sometimes people say nothing, sometimes they say too much, and that could all be an underactive throat chakra. It's all about how much they're expressing what they're truly thinking and feeling. So let's fire that up. And we've been talking about aura quartzes all week, and this is one of the most powerful and one of my favorites, aqua aura quartz. This is 24 karat gold fused with quartz. Isn't it stunning? And so gold being the metal of the sun, it's about expansion, it's about growth, it's about healing. And it's about healing through communication. And so this is a really good one, especially, you know, when we, when we have a thought or feeling, it's a form of energy. And we can either get it out right there and then, or we can bury it. And we bury it and bury it. And it's kind of like food in the fridge. If you bury it for too long, if you keep something in the fridge for weeks or months or years or a lifetime, how would that tomato or that carrot look? 
a dreadful thing. And that can have that, that energetic effect. And that's where sometimes we see the manifestation of different ailments and diseases and disorders as people get older. And when you read um, you know, someone like Louise Hay or Ina Segal's books, they talk about how that energy, we kind of, if we hold that in, that can fester and cause problems in our life. Aqua Aura really encourages you to get that out. It's really nice. I have an Aqua Aura meditation in my meditation range. And that allows you, it doesn't mean that you have to speak to the person. It means that you have to find some way to express it. Maybe you write it all out. Maybe you share it with a friend. Maybe you do it in meditation. If they're passed away, that's a really nice thing to do. But just find one way to get rid of it in that type of way. And then Aqua Aura is really, really good in that kind of way to facilitate that type of healing. Other ones that I really like to use are blue opals. Now you get different blue opals around the world. Some really nice ones in the Americas. This is one of my favorites. Isn't this a stunning color? This is Andean or Peruvian blue opal. Now opals have a real playful energy. So it's, you know, sometimes we don't want to speak because we're scared or we're a bit shy or something like this. Be a bit more playful. Be a bit in that type of way. And Andean blue opal really helps with that. You also get this one found in North America called a Waihi opal. And you can see the difference. Both blue opals, but very different in color. This one's a bit more vibrant, this one's a bit more soft in its energy. And it just allows people are a bit scared to speak. This one can give them a bit of a hug and allow them to start to speak out. So maybe you're dealing with someone or you yourself don't feel confident telling people how you feel. This one's a bit of a gentle one. It could be really nice to work with in that way. The essential oil that works really well with an underactive throat chakra. Now remembering that our throat chakra, it governs our respiratory system. So what essential oil comes to mind when you're thinking of the respiratory system? Eucalyptus, exactly. And eucalyptus is a really nice one to use to help us to breathe and to allow ourselves to exhale any sadness or any grief or any feelings, whatever they may be. So eucalyptus is a really good one. So what are we gonna do to open up that throat chakra? Ideally, grab your opal of choice, so an Andean blue opal or an Awahi opal. You can get some other opals with nice blue flashes in them and put that right in the middle there. We then are gonna get Ideally, some aqua aura points and point them in so they're sending their healing energy in. But if you don't, if you don't have four, then you can use clear quartz points as a substitute because they're a lot easier to find. If you've only got one of these, maybe you could do one from the bottom or the top and these on the other three. Whatever works best for you. You're allowed to improvise. And that's, that's the whole fun of working with crystals is improvise and see what you find to be more effective. We're also gonna add some turquoise now turquoise is really good for clearing any energy blockages anywhere in the body for a whole bunch of different things. That's why it's a stone that's really good for love, fortune, luck, health, all those things because when the energy's flowing, everything works really well. And so we're gonna put one of these in each hand as well. So those aqua auras are really gonna be powerful. They're gonna boost it up. We've got the blue opal in the middle and the turquoise in each hand and allow them to fire up. And we might talk about one other crystal that you might wanna to add to that one a little bit later. So, we now have a balanced throat chakra. What are we gonna do with a balanced throat chakra? Do we need to work with crystals and oils? Yes, we do, so we can maintain it in that way. And there's some really beautiful ones. Now, we have been talking all week about tourmalines, and so soft blue tourmalines. So this one's probably, might be a bit darker blue. So this one might be a third eye chakra of tourmaline. But this soft blue one, you can see, might be better for the throat chakra. So that's really good. It ebbs and flows energy backwards and forwards, and so thus, is really, really good for balancing and keeping balance in that throat chakra when it's doing really, really well. There's also a whole bunch of watery crystals that we can work with that are really nice for keeping a balanced throat chakra because you've got that ebb and flow of energy again. The first one, we've been talking about the barrel family all week. We talked about Heliodor, the yellow barrel on Wednesday with the uh, solar plexus chakra. We did emerald yesterday, which is green barrel for the heart. And then we've got aquamarine. This is a beautiful piece of aquamarine. Really nice for balancing that throat chakra. It has that ebbing, flowing energy. Now what other crystals come to mind when you're thinking of this um, water? There are some beautiful ones. And one of the most beautiful and renowned ones is beautiful Larimar. Found in one place in the world in the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. It's got that real oceanic energy and so, so good for control freaks and those that try and make things go a certain way. This is really nice for going with the flow and allowing abundance to come from all different directions. So that one's a really nice one. There is another one, which I quite like, which I call the Crystal of Confession. Helps to purge and get things out. And this is called Hemimorphite. And Hemimorphite is a really nice one to work with as well. So sometimes I call Hemimorphite poor man's Larimer. It's a bit more expensive, 
But if you, you know, if you look at the kind of Larimer, and that's obviously a large piece, but that is a little bit of hemimorphite. You can see they're very similar in tumbled, so it's a bit bit cheaper on the budget. That one might be about ten dollars, whereas the tumbled Larimer about that size um, may be about fifty. So either either will work. Whatever you're drawn to. Um, Larimer has a slightly different energy of, of going with the flow and not trying to be so controlling with your speech or be dictative, whereas um, Hemimorphite is very much about allowing that purging of things that you kept buried in the fridge. It's like the fridge cleaner rattler, if that can be a word. It is now. The oil that we put with that is Cyprus, the oil of grief. And there's a beautiful myth on how Cyprus came to be created. Uh, basically, there was once a gorgeous young man by the name of Saprasios. And Saprasios was hanging out with the god Apollo. They'd go out into the woods and Saprasios had a, a stag deer um, and the three of them would go out and play in the woods and do whatever they, whatever you do. So one day they were throwing javelins because that's what you did before you had Xbox. And they were kind of seeing who could throw it the furthest. So Saprasios got his javelin, looked behind him to make sure that Apollo was watching, threw his javelin, not looking where it was going, and pierced the heart of his beloved stag deer. And he was so upset that he had killed his deer, he couldn't bear to live any longer on this earth and feel the guilt of killing his deer and not be without the deer he was so, um, so fond of. So he begged Apollo to let him go into the underworld and be with the deer. But Apollo, the god, was so fond of Saprasios, he didn't want to lose him either. So what he did, he turned him into the cypress tree. So we have the cypress tree with its roots going deep into the ground to go into the underworld to be with the stag deer. But then you'll see they have this conical shape that point up to the heavens towards the gods and Apollo. So that's why you'll see cypress trees a lot if you travel around old bits of Europe. A lot of the old and European cemeteries will have cypress trees. And cypress essential oil really helps people when they're grieving as well. I'm even drinking out of blue glass today. Good when you've got a throat chakra issue. Blue glasses are good. Just water, of course. Um, now, what are we going to do for our empowerment grid? We're going to put some cypress on there first of all. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put some larimer. Now it doesn't have, obviously this bit's going to be a bit too big, so you've got to find yourself a small little piece. Something like that will be really nice. Pop that there. Then we're going to surround that with four blue tourmalines. If you can't find the blue tourmalines, then clear quartz points would suffice for some of them. We're going to put an aquamarine on each lung. Aquamarines are really good for allowing us to breathe Really good for asthmatics, really good for hay fever, and any different things like that. So we're going to kind of check, rest them on the lungs, an aquamarine on each. And it doesn't have to be a, a thick um, one like this, natural piece. It can be tumble stones. That'll suffice as well. We're then going to get turquoise, and we're going to keep that. Turquoise is so good for clearing blockages in the body. So we're going to put that in each hand. We're going to put an angelite on each ear. And our grand finale that will really set off... Did I learn where I hide it? Set off our... Empowerment grid for our throat chakra is this skull sign. Isn't it beautiful? It grows, you can see here, these beautiful sprays. And where we're going to put that is we're going to put that at the crown and that's going to reach out. Now, skull sign is a real stone of gentleness and it really reminds us to breathe. And when we breathe, everything's a okay. So, popping that up there really helps to channel in divine energy and really can help to, you, you notice with people, they'll start to breathe a lot slower and deeper. Now breath is obviously very important for our throat chakra and very important for all of our body because how we are breathing communicates to the rest of our body how we're actually feeling or doing. You know, if we're stressed or if we're angry or anything like that, think of any of those negative emotions, what happens with our breath? It gets shallow. The deeper it is, the more we communicate to all the systems of our body that everything's a-okay. So Scholosite really helps with that and can be a really nice um, one to include in that empowerment grid. So just to summarise, you've got your larimer there, or you could use your hemimorphite as well. We're going to put blue tourmalines there, there and there, or clear quartz and aqua auras. We're going to put an aquamarine on each lung. We're going to put turquoise in each hand, angelite in each ear, and our scholosite up at our crown. Now, there is one other crystal that you can work with when it comes to the throat chakra, and this is apatite. Spelled a little bit different, A-P-A-T-I-T-E, but is very much to do with um, self-expression and our appetite and weight loss. It's a great one for managing our weight. Because if you think about it, when it comes to eating, how many of us these days eat purely based on emotional reasons or for emotional fulfillment rather than for nourishing our body? You know, what happens when you've had a bad day at work? You stop at the shops on the way home and you get some chocolate or ice cream or some sugary treat to make you try and feel better. 
And what happens, we tend to, as we gain weight or if we have eating problems, it, bec it becomes an emotional thing. And this is very much a purging stone that allows us to purge those emotions, bring them up and get, get that out and can help with weight loss through the throat chakra. A really nice activity is to actually you take this into the shower, maybe a tumbled stone, and actually visualize washing the parts of your body that you don't want there off, letting go of all those emotions that are being held within your body and letting them release. And it can be quite powerful if you do that. Pop some eucalyptus or some cypress oil on the bath floor and allow that to come up in the steam of the hot water and you get a really powerful kind of um, throat chakra balancing activity in that. Now, I've been talking about doTERRA essential oils this week. I'm gonna pop up a video in a few days as well of why I love doTERRA so much because I've had a lot of questions about that. But they do have a great blend for the respiratory system called Easy Air. It's got eucalyptus, it's got Ravensara, I think there's some peppermint in it. There's a whole bunch of different ones. This really helps to go with it, really helps breathe easy and it's great. So if you've got any respiratory problems from dry sinuses to snoring to asthma to anything like that, it really helps to open up those airways if you're sick or if you've got that it's a constant problem. It'll really support that in that way. Now, what animals can we work with when we're working with the throat chakra? The two I like to work with, I'm gonna give you two for each chakra. We've been doing that each day throughout the week. First one is a blue and gold macaw. Work beautifully with our aqua aura quartz because parrots are about that self-expression. And you've got the blue, which is communication, and that golden color, which is that healing, just like aqua aura quartz. So call on this bird, this loud, confident, self-expressing bird, and adopt that energy into your being. Have, feel it around you. Um, even go into meditation, see yourself in a natural surrounding, and invite that bird to come in and communicate with you. You'll be surprised what it will actually say to you, just like an angel or a guide would. Another one, so that's normally really good if we need to express ourselves more. Maybe you've got an underactive throat chakra. If you've got an overactive throat chakra, then deer is really, really beautiful. Now, I find deer resonates really nicely with blue lace agate, and the white stag deer works really well, again, with that skull site because he has those beautiful horns connecting up to spirit just like the scholar site does. Deer reminds us that often we can be more effective when we're gentle. And sometimes if you're trying to make a difference or influence someone, sometimes a gentle nudge is much more powerful than a big shove. And so if you need to practice being a little bit softer with yourself as well and the words that you communicate to yourself as well as other people, then deer could be a really good animal to work with and adopt that energy and that teaching. There'll be lots of more, lots more of that in my um, heal, my nature healers course that I've been advertising on my Facebook page and on this Seven Days and Seven Chakras event page as well. If you'd like to know more about that, subscribe to my newsletter or check out my Facebook page. It's all on there. I'd love you to be a part of that. Finally, what do we finish off with? We finish off with our throat chakra blend. So what we want to do with this, we can put it in a diffuser if we're working on our throat chakra. You can put it in a rollerball and anoint it and rub it on or wear it as a perfume or you can put it in a spritz whenever you're doing throat chakra things. Um, blah, 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 blah. So what are we gonna put in that? Sorry, I was just reading your comments, making sure I didn't miss any questions. That's right, Karen, you can watch it later. You're onto it, you know what's happening. And I'm also posting them on YouTube as well. Once they kind of vanish off Facebook, they'll always be on YouTube forevermore. Um, okay, what's our throat chakra balancing blend? We're gonna use three parts of chamomile. This is such a beautiful one. I think soft speech, so many people are yelling and trying to get their opinion out. That it's really important to soften our speech, even if we're trying, if we're not communicating loudly or, or effectively, or if we're going to underact the throat chakra. Camel is really great. So three parts of this, and then two parts each of our cypress, eucalyptus, and we're also going to put some rosemary in there, which is quite good for the respiratory system. So three parts chamomile, two parts cypress, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Now that may be if you're putting them in a diffuser, you might just go three drops, two drops, two drops, two drops. If you're making a rollerball, normally if it's a 10 mil rollerball, you want about 30 drops, so you might want to times that by two or three. So you might have six, four, and four, or nine, six, and six, and six. <laughs> that was a really bad display of mathematics. So, a couple of other last things. We always have a few specials. If you'd love to get um, some of these essential oils to start working with them, I would love to help you with them as well. In my Nature's Healers course that I've been talking about, we're gonna go through over 25 weeks and I'm gonna show you lots of different ways to work with oils and crystals and animals and some angels and a bit of astrology all thrown in there so that you're fully getting the most out of everything you're doing with all of these gifts that we have from Mother, Mother Nature and the cosmos. If you'd like to get some throat chakra ones, if this is a, a energy point that you're stuck on, then 
You can get the Cypress, the Eucalyptus, and the Roman Chamomile, one for an underactive, overactive, and balance. Uh, $143.67. But if you can become a doTERRA member, contact me and I can sort you out with that. I'll give you a free throat chakra roller when you become a member today. And that will then only, you'll save 25%. And get, that will only be $108. When you become a doTERRA member, not only do you get the oils for cheaper, but you also get support, you get ongoing training, uh, for other free members only webinars, events, all different things. Um, I, I could tell you many, many benefits of that, and we can discuss that if you want. I'll put the PM, you know, PM Crystal Connections or shoot me an email as well. Um, if you'd like to get the Easy Air, the one that really helps the respiratory system, that's $36, or for the 15 ml bottle for members, only 27 um, and this, this today's special for our crystal is a blue fluorite. Very hard to find, but I've managed to score myself some. If you'd like one of them, then they're just $10 today. So, thank you very much for watching the Throat Chakra. I hope, hopefully, my Throat Chakra was balanced enough that I was able to express myself clearly enough and that you've got a little few more hints on what you could do with your Throat Chakra. What shall we do tomorrow? We're going to do our Third Eye Chakra. What's that all about? We'll find out tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure sharing some wisdom and speaking with you again. Thank you for watching. I'm Adam Merrily. Blessed be.